So Monday morning after uh, the guys worked overtime, we've got some tables full of C10 tanks, so we'll run down them. Uh, we're gonna get ready and package them. I'm gonna do a time lapse on that as well. But here you go. This is a 63 to 72 uh, bed fill rollover vent standing unit, non EFI. Uh, 73 to 87 bed fill, no rollover vent, EFI standing unit installed. Oh, this guy's got a mount kit too. Uh, 73 to 87 bed fill, non EFI, no accessories. Uh, 67 to 72 bed fill uh, with a standing unit, non EFI. 63 to 72 bed fill with an EFI uh, 0 to 90 ohm sensor rollover vent mount kit this is going to be a uh, 73 or 63 to 72 uh, C10 OEM version side fill so side fill is changed to a one and a half um, 63 to 72 because of flat mounts this has got our OEM um, pump pocket in it no sensor no rollover what makes these different is they've got a flat bottom then they taper up this is a uh, a 1000 so it's these are identically the same tank structure except for the fact that this has got an actual a uh, aeromotive bull pattern not the OEM version and it's a center fill and we've got 63 to 72 EFI with a flush floor fill kit. So when you buy a floor fill kit on our site, you get the tank, but then we change out automatically to the barb that matches the way it's supposed to be. That way it's easier to just make this connection. You can still adapt the floor fill kit to this neck, but you have just have to take this cap off and use a, a piece of rubber to uh, make up the difference in, in diameter. The biggest problem is, honestly, is that you might have to space the tank down because of this height once the cap is off versus how deep the floor fill kit is, they sometimes hit. And it's usually like within about a quarter of an inch. So that's something to think about that it's, yes, you can adapt to it, but it's not just a plug and play simple thing. You might have to space the tank down. So we've got this one here we've already went over, that's EFI. This one here is gonna be the same thing, 63 to 72 uh, floor, with a floor fill kit, non-EFI, no sensor. These might not have the, oh yeah, this is, all these get sensors, they just haven't been installed yet. Here's a 60 to 62 non-EFI with a floor kit, and it's gonna have a sensor as well, but this is a non-EFI. I don't know if I just said EFI or not. So. Monday morning, this is the first round that we're gonna package up and I'm gonna do a time lapse. We've got our boxes ready. So we're gonna get started. Okay, so here we are a couple minutes, or a little bit later. We're getting ready to do our second run uh, down the table. We're putting them together, uh, serial numbering them, taking pictures of them. So here's the, the next run, and then we'll start the time lapse on this run as well. 
So we got some modified five gallons, 11 gallon, some 22 gallons, some more 63 to 72s, EFIs. Modified eight gallon. There's an 11 gallon, the mechanical gauge option. Another 63 to 72, or no, 73 to 87 side fill. Five gallon standard with a mechanical gauge option. Looks like we've got a loose fitting that was added to the order as well. A couple more of these. So yeah. I think we got over here. 63 to 72 C10 side fill non EFI. 73 to 87 bed fill non EFI. It's another 73 to 87 bed fill non EFI. And another 73 to 87 bed fill non EFI. So these guys are popular today. So there we go. We'll get them packaged up on their way to you. So, ending up the day, got our shipments ready, we're getting ready to make the labels, so here we go. We've already had our USPS pick up for the day. And Brandy's working on getting some of tomorrow's stuff going. Here's a custom tank. 11 gallons, modified. Oh, it's a mirror image too. Another 63 to 72. And a 73 to 87. All right, so that pretty much wraps up the day. Uh, I thought you might like to follow along with me and see it. If you uh, enjoyed the video, give us a subscribe. Maybe thumbs up the video. Uh, kind of motivate me to build or to make more. It takes a good bit of time to think about making the videos and then edit them. Uh, so anyways, I appreciate all the support. I thanks for the orders. You can always send us emails at sales at boydwelding.com. Place your orders online, uh, fueltankparts.com. Take it easy.